ラハム・セラネ・シリット財団創設者ドクター・レンツル・フンプラ・リマナサラペロタがお願いいたします。
The message of the Buddha spread a wave of humanism through Asia, which bound us together for hundreds of years with a common cultural and heritage. We extend to Japan a hand of friendship and trust that with the closing of this chapter in the history of the last page of which we write today, and with the beginning of the new one, the first page together to enjoy the full dignity of human life in peace and prosperity. It is those connections that were established many years ago that Sri Lanka today is benefiting from the close bonds of friendship with Japan. We would like to continue to work together to promote Japanese tourists to visit Sri Lanka, investment from Japanese companies, trade between our two countries, and employment workers from Sri Lanka in Japan. For Japanese tourists, Sri Lanka is an ideal destination. There are direct flights from Tokyo to Colombo on Sri Lankan Airlines, which takes only eight and a half hours. Four most places in Sri Lanka are the cultural sites that showcases our Buddhist heritage. An area called the Cultural Triangle contains several UNESCO World Heritage Sites from our Buddhist culture of more than 2,000 years. The architectural marvels are unique in any part of the world. In Sri Lanka, where Buddhism arrived more than 2,300 years ago, we commemorate Vesak Day on the full moon day in the month of May in three weeks' time as the birth of Siddhartha Gautama, the enlightenment and passing away of Gautama Buddha. Then there is the beautiful uh, natural environment of Sri Lanka. Pristine sandy beaches, rivers, mountains, rainforests, national parks with much biodiversity, tea plantations and so much more for visitors to see in Sri Lanka. As a matter of fact, Sri Lanka is the only country where you can see the largest sea mammal, the blue whale, and the largest land mammal, the elephant, within a matter of one to two hours. Sri Lanka currently has more than 7,000 elephants, which makes it the country with the highest density of elephants anywhere in the world. In our Buddhist tradition, elephants are given the special honor to carry sacred Buddhist relics at important Buddhist festivals. Our food culture is also very special. The tropical environment allows us to grow a wide variety of food items, which include many kinds of rice, fruits, and vegetables. This provides for healthy meals that is also based on our wellness and Ayurvedic traditions. The natural environment in Sri Lanka that provides so much fauna and flora has helped us to base our wellness through our own indigenous Ayurveda medicines. This is a special aspect all our Japanese friends can benefit from by visiting Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka is also known for many types of gemstones, including royal blue sapphires. The jewelry industry of the country has a very long and rich history. We appreciate if the people of Japan can enhance the trade volume of Sri Lanka by sourcing these products to Japan that would naturally provide better livelihoods to Sri Lanka. There are many business uh, and investment opportunities for Japanese entrepreneurs and companies with Sri Lanka. Our main export is the apparel sector, but there are now prospects for Japanese businesses to buy into many state-owned enterprises. More than 50 years ago, Ronitake established a factory in Sri Lanka to make ceramic products. This project still continues very profitably. Then 30 years ago, Onomichi Dockyard from Osaka joined with the Belamu Dockyard and they continue to build ships for many countries. About 25 years ago, NTT, bought into Sri Lanka Telecom and helped modernize the telecommunications and IT sectors in Sri Lanka. So similarly, there are now more and more avenues for economic and business collaborations that are possible for Japanese enterprises and investors in Sri Lanka. The Sri Lanka Embassy gives high priority to promote and assist in possible business ventures. The high quality of education and health standards, along with the population dynamics in Sri Lanka, allows us to have young, skillful, and trainable workforce that is ideally suited to serve the labor shortage in Japan. We want to train more of our young people in the Japanese language and get the right training and skills to work in Japan as trainees and specialized skills workers. Sri Lanka is working closely with Japanese authorities to continue to expand the opportunities for Sri Lankan workers to come to Japan and meet the challenges in the shortages of labor. Uh, moving forward, we also see the need to create more exchanges of students, researchers, and volunteers to help create more linkages 
between our respective countries. The international relations organizations under the guidance of most venerable Zulu Nupala and Dr. Suga is working tirelessly to create more business and labor connections for Sri Lanka to benefit from. The Embassy of Sri Lanka will continue to work closely with them and the distinguished audience to bring Sri Lanka and Japan closer and get the much needed support from Japan to rebuild our economy. Through very productive events like this, I'm sure we can realize mutually beneficial efforts to the friendly people of both Japan and Sri Lanka. I thank you all very much. Thank you. ね、ちょっと。いや、いや。ほんと。うん。オッケー。いやいや。ほら、いっそね、いっそ。いっそ、バダラ。変だよ。いや。で、今から埼玉カスカベに向かうということで。そう、これが。スリランカ。ニューイ